Good morning, everyone. This is Victor from the Black Bear Distillery in beautiful Green Mountain Falls, Colorado. Um, sitting at about 7,800 feet in the winter at the beginning of 2019. I wanted to make a couple films to talk about this 1889 experiment that we're doing. But I really don't know where to start because it's such an unusual thing. And it's such a big deal. Um, and it's so cool. But it's really hard to explain. Um, I mean, you can, okay, so you guys know there's a bunch of different types of distilleries. Um, they're all doing different things. Drink what you like. Um, you guys know how that works. Um, some people do a bad thing, some people do a good thing, it's whatever. If you know about the Black Bear Distillery, then you know that um, my family's been distilling for about 130 years. And um, we've been legal for five, so it's good, don't worry. <laughs> but um, my grandfather's recipe is what started it all. So it's a long story, it's in all our paperwork and online and all of that, but I won't go through all that again. I'll just explain that it's a corn whiskey, right? A regular corn whiskey like Moonshine. And it's familiar to people that know anything about Moonshine. And most people don't because they've had the stuff in the store that looks like Moonshine, but this is not actually Moonshine. It's a neutral uh, grain spirit. It doesn't have any flavor. So that's not really what Moonshine's about. Neither is the legend about the burn and how bad it tastes and how it makes you go blind. Uh, that's not what Moonshine's about either. So most people are just confused about Moonshine. If you want to know more about that, then just send me an email or look at our website or whatever you want to do. Uh, get hold of us, come for a tour and tasting and let me explain more about how awesome Moonshine is. Um, but that's not really the subject. People know us for our Irish style whiskey and they know us for our rum, which is really weird. Obviously my grandpa never made rum. And we're at 7,800 feet in the mountains um, in the Colorado Rockies, so that makes no sense at all. But it works. It works great. It tastes delicious, so we do it. So it's, anyway, that's the life of the Black Bear Distillery. Anyway, it really does go back to 1889, to the very beginning, when my grandfather's grandfather started all this trouble. <laughs> that was in the Blue Ridge um, Mountains, in between North Carolina and Tennessee. And um, there's a National Historic Site there now. And the archaeologist that worked for the National Historic Site, as well as my being there, as well as the family uh, history, has shown us what the recipe was and what he was doing. He had a granary there. He had a, um, a source of water uh, just a hundred feet from the house, a really beautiful spring. There's a spring house. There's a still area. There's a granary area. Of course, the park rangers won't tell you about all that when you take the tour because, of course, it's, it was illegal, so. But anyway, 1889 is the best date that we can nail down. They got their house in the 70s, uh, 1870s, and he built these things out. And by 1889, it was firmly established. We have the granary, and we have the uh, spring and everything set up. So what was he doing? Well, he was making a rye that was clear. So we run into trouble trying to explain this to the, the TTB. You know, the federal government has rules and regulations, and they explain that white whiskey and how whiskey needs to be in wood, except for corn whiskey. Well, what about a whiskey that's not corn whiskey? What about a whiskey that's mostly rye, um, but it's clear, so it's never seen a barrel? Um, what would you call that? And then he ran it multiple times. Um, so why would you? do that I mean what would you call that so we end up having to put vodka on the bottle which is hilarious but okay I mean if somebody buys it because it says vodka they're gonna get a clear liquor that's really smooth and delicious it tastes like vodka so okay that's the closest descriptor for it mm, what it really is is a historic masterpiece I mean something from the ancient past that can't even really be described by modern regulations a multiple distillate of rye and corn that's fragrant and floral and amazing and we've reconstructed it from my family history from the archaeology and here we are uh, making some it'll be our special release in this the 130th anniversary year so i'll make another film in just a second to explain a little bit more about the process thanks for watching